It is our time as young women and young men to take our stand in history for the masses of our people. We said our people need you in the organization. We said this organization must be a Pan-Africanist organization. God, it was a Pan-Africanist. There's no question now. And there's people here, I'm sure, today say that I love Gavi, I love Gavi, I love Gavi, I love Gavi, I love Gavi. There's no organization working for the masses of your people. We said we need collective thought. It's only when we get collective thought that we will move forward. We will move forward. We will come to deal with some of the problems that we have. We will come to deal with some of the problems that we have when our people, when our people understand that they have necessity of joining an organization. We can come and honor Marcus Masai Garvey every year, every year. But when will you be a cub of the UNIA? When will you be a cub of God? When will you get in an organization and work to your death for God, for your masses of your people? Africans, we come here today to say to you that we need you to understand the need for power. We want you to understand the need for mass organization. We want you to understand the need for Pan-Africanism. We want you to understand the need that we must move to scientific socialism. Because we know that capitalism is a system who suffer our people. Not one day, they suffer our people every day. And our people do not believe in capitalism. Africa did not give capitalism to the world. It's a fact. It's a historical fact. We say that if only socialism will come to satisfy the aspiration of African people scattered throughout the world. We say it's only under socialism that we can use our land and our human and mineral resources and natural resources for the benefit of all our people. We say it's our people we must understand this necessity to gain power, to join organization. We understand that that necessity to have an African United Front. We need 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 it now. We need this African United Front. Africans are suffering throughout the world, throughout 125 countries, where you will find Africans living you will find African suffering. So we say, if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. We're asking you, as young men and young women of Africa, to join some organization, to join some organization. We will never get tired of asking our people to join organizations. Organization is the only thing will come to satisfy the aspirations of African people. We say that socialism is the only economic system will come to fast, will come to satisfy the aspirations of African people. We say. It is hard for one to be a Christian and be a capitalist. We say it's hard for one to be a Christian and be a capitalist. Yes. It's hard for one to be a Christian and to support Zionism. We say it's hard for one to be a Christian and to support Zionism. We could never, we could never support Zionism. We said that Africa have fought against colonialism, self-colonialism. Now we are at this stage. We are at this stage in our development where we must come to understand neo-colonialism, the term of neo-colonialism, this new form of colonialism where African resources, her mineral, her natural, and our human resources are being ripped off by 
mighty imperialists of the world who's dealing with these neo-colonial puppets in Africa. And as long as we remain outside of organizations, these capitalists, these imperialists, these Zionists will stand by and continue to rape and rob Africa and African people. And we say the only thing will stop it is when our people join some organization working for the masses of our people. It is a that necessity. And we don't get anything else done today. And we can encourage you, and we can encourage you, this little African, that little African, this African queen, that African queen, that African queen, that African king, the giants of organization working for our people. We will come to understand more about our problems as a people. We said today, we come here with our things, organizing the masses for Pan-Africanism. Organizing the masses for Pan-Africanism. Forward to one unified socialist Africa. Forward to one unified socialist Africa. We have a little to a table here on your side. If anyone is interested, who wants to know more about the All African People's Revolutionary Party, those sisters who would like to come in to our organization, the All African Women Revolutionary Party Union waits on you. The All African Women Revolutionary Union waits on you. We need you. If anyone is here, is in an organization today, and your organization didn't get an opportunity to come to the platform and speak, will you please go to the table and leave your organization name, address, and phone number while we can start to struggle to build this African United Front that we need. Those Africans who are in organization continue to struggle with these Africans who are not in organization. We said, either you are for your people or against your people. So we beg you again, and we thank you again for coming. To, to, for coming to Marcus Garvey Day this year. Africans, we hope you have enjoyed all of the speakers that came before me. I hope you took into consideration things that they said. We will continue to work for our liberation of our people. Do we are dead in our grave like Marcus Garvey? And we know that Brother Marcus Garvey is here with us today. We say the longer one has been dead sometime when they have worked among the people, the greater they become. Because we know probably this you sitting here know of Marcus Garvey today. So Marcus Garvey is not dead. Marcus Garvey still works with inside of all of us. So when someone asks you, do you love Marcus Garvey? Do you love the UNIA? You will be able to tell them, yes, I'm a member of an organization. Yes, I fight for my people. I fight for my people all the time. So we said to you again, come, join the All African People Revolutionary Party. Come, join the All African Women Revolutionary Union. And if you will not join some other organization, working and struggling for the masses of your people, thank you, and as always, ready for the revolution. They have gave me the great pleasure of introducing one of Africa's great and noble warriors, a warrior who fights for a revolution, an African who fights and struggles through his creative art for the liberation of Africans. This African moves throughout the world trying to improve the thinking of African people. This African is one of Mother Africa's greatest warrior. 
who will always live among us, who will always stand beside us, who will always give us lyrics of consciousness, With no other to do, I would like everyone to stand and to whack them. Our brother, our comrade, Brother Muta Baruka.